jump into ZBrush and start building out that shape. Okay, and real simply, I'm just going to start from a Dynamesh Sphere and I'm just going to start pulling out my shapes. And the nice thing about doing all this stuff for concept and using ZBrush is the amount of work that you can get out of this program, the amount of screenshots that you can grab and paint on top of, um, and not to mention, you know, you really don't have to worry about topology at this point because it's not going to be used in any production setting. You're just purely using this for an illustrative purpose for a 2D in it. You could also then in turn give this asset to a modeler and they have a pretty decent base to start from. And this way it kind of ensures that your concept hits the screen with the most accuracy in which you gave it to them. It's kind of hard for them to change it if, they, if you give them a 3D model to start from. Constantly moving, checking out how things look. So turn on project because all the details that I want to be shown on the, the mesh, I want it to keep every time I do a mesh. Okay, so let's take a look back at our concept here. All right. Real rough, real quick and dirty. I want this thing to seem really intelligent. So we want to make sure the skull supports that idea. But we still want them to look very scary, maybe an aggressive shape. And I like to I like to sculpt in perspective mode. Throughout the sculpt, I'll, I'll go over here and I'll, I'll turn it off just to kind of make sure that it looks good with or without it. That, I feel, it really helps the design. Like, if, if a design only looks good in a certain mode, especially in how you view it in perspective, then ultimately the design isn't working very well for you. Make sure. We got some shoulder muscles in here. That's a decent base to start from. So I'm going to go in here and use the clay buildup, kind of block in my forms 